Hey everyone, Mark here. It's been a little while since you've heard my voice, right? Or to be honest, since I've made any kind of videos on the channel. Um, today we have something a little bit different. It's gonna be some Diablo 2 Resurrected gameplay. Um, for those of you who didn't know, I used to play a ton of Diablo 2 when I was in high school. Um, and when I saw they remastered it, I just had to play it. So um, that's what's been keeping me busy for the last couple of weeks. And today we'll have my first attempt at doing uh, Uber Tristram to get a torch. Uh, this is my first character on the game actually. It's a Smiter Paladin on some pretty budget gear because yeah, I just started two weeks ago. Um, you'll see I'll show the gear at the end, but nothing super, super fancy or expensive. Uh, here I just went to Tristram to cast the Fade proc on my character to get additional uh, resistance. And then I'll head back to Act 5 and start with Duriel. So, we'll see you in there. Alright, so we'll start with Duriel. Probably the easiest of all three. Uh, usually above the waypoint there. Um, here you'll see I kind of missed. I forgot to cast my, uh, my life tap on him. So I had to do that and swap back to my main weapon set. And just get to it. Uh, as I said, probably the easiest of all Ubers. Uh, very open space doesn't do that much damage uh, and he's usually very close to the waypoint so you don't have to walk around too much to find him so fairly quick I think it'll take maybe like 30 seconds to get him all right now that's done he drops a uh, bale's eye we'll pick that up head back to the town um, and next up will be Isual. Um, Isual once again not super super difficult um, the mobs around him, a little bit annoying because they curse you a lot, but really not that strong. Uh, it took me a little while to find him though, so uh, we'll just skip for it until I get there. Uh, and again, this is very budget setup, so I kind of cleared all the mobs since it's my first time doing Ubers in like 10 years. Just want to get comfortable with it and not get surprised. Uh, you see that amp damage. I don't want to get a bunch of characters just uh, hitting me while I'm on amp damage. but. He's almost there, just around the corner. Uh, again, kind of struggling with the life top one there. Uh, I ended up not realizing he was just there and ran up to him. So I'll just walk back, reset the engagement, uh, somehow cast a spell. So <laughs> got stuck there, but you'll see his life goes down super, super fast. Uh, not too, too difficult to get. Uh, I'm a little bit of a, in a, the monster pack now, but I'll clear it up pick up Mephisto's brain and head back to town in just a second. Cool, so I probably could have towned right there, but I don't know, I just got <laughs> in the habit of clearing up the packs, so we'll do that. Alright, cool. Uh, next up you see my character is not translucent anymore, so the frayed spell is gone. So I'll just head back to Tristram real quick and proc that again so I can get max res against uh, Lidit. She does a lot of uh, damage there, especially poison damage, so you want to be sure we'll put all the chance on our side. Uh, you see I've also explored most of the map because uh, yeah, I was just having a hard time finding her. She's just hiding in the corner down below there. Uh, so found her, ended up backing out and then joining again. As you can see, these guys do a lot of damage, plus the amp damage curse on me it doesn't help really. Uh, so trying to get away from these guys and I'll just go back to town real quick and fill up on those juves just to be sure I'm all good. And now, as I'm heading back, I'll just clear just a little bit because these Black Lancer gals and these uh, Vile Witches, they're pretty annoying. They curse you, they hit you pretty hard, and I just don't want to get stuck, you know, uh, in the middle of a fight. Plus that, plus Lilith, you know, and these guys, uh, gals, hitting me in the back. So we'll just clear that up and make our way afterwards. Alright, so right there I think, I think I got a phone call in the middle of it, so just texted back saying, hey, I'll call you back in a minute. 
doing some super cool uber runs you know <laughs> so uh yeah heading back now i uh, don't know why i casted a tp there uh just making my life tap ready uh you see she's down the hallway there in that little room but i'll clear everything on the way just because yeah like i said before don't want a million guys uh, hitting me at while i'm fighting limit uh, so far i think this is probably the toughest of all the ubers just because the mobs are really annoying they hit you from range they hit you from close uh, they curse you uh you don't it, you know it's pretty dark you don't really see well and i got stuck a few times uh with the tombs or they're blocking the doorways so uh they can be pretty annoying if you're trying to like fall back or you know move around quickly uh, so yeah i just ended up not bothering and clearing everything just to be sure i'd be safe these are the last couple ones pick up those potions and just quick peek trying to bait her out ended up baiting some other black lancer so, come on now she'll get out just she's got the life tap now and let's go so once you have her it's really not too bad at all um, she probably hits a little bit harder than the other guys uh, might just be my defense and resistance are not quite as good again this is very budget but you see she goes down very fast and uh, a few juves couple mana potion will do the trick for you got that saber hitting me in the back that ghost saber she drops uh, Diablo's horn and that is it for the small ubers we'll head back in town and I can't carry face it. Tristram in a bit. Sweet, so that didn't take too long. I'll just head back. Uh, now I have all the orgs. Uh, we can do the portal to Tristram. Uh, I'll head back to get that Juve. Uh, again, I ended up going to Tristram in Act 1 just to uh, put on my treachery and cast Fade just to max the resist. I swap my belt for T God just to get that uh, extra lightning resist, and then put back uh, Duras. Again, I'll go on the gear at the end. Um, but we're back in Uber Tristram for the first time in 10 years. Um, my plan here, I'll go pretty slow, but I'm trying to go up and just drag Mephisto first because he's probably the hardest of all three. So I'm just really, really going slowly. Uh, to be on the careful side probably could have went faster but you'll see here uh, he starts spawning these skeletons so I know he's around uh, I'm just walking away because I don't want to get stuck in all the little skeletons uh, but end up casting life tap getting him on the side and just really bodying him quite fast uh, I see life goes down and up but life tap here is doing a good job now I'll just head into town, I don't want to be uh, poison infected anymore, so I'll just get that off and jump back into it. Hello. Here I know Diablo and Bale are both usually around in the middle, so I'm trying to get one of them, to bait one of them uh, by going uh, below the Tristram, below their little village. Uh, doesn't really work too well right away, but uh, I'll get there at some point. Probably could have just gone in there, but end up going all around. In my memories, it was a lot more like packed with monsters, but doesn't look as bad as it used to be. So you'll see there on the bottom of the screen, they're both next to each other. So I'm trying to get just one of them. Uh, Bale teleports, so as soon as he sees me, uh, he teleports on me. Here, I'm kind of stuck in the buildings. So I try to run away and just bait him, because I don't want to fight him and Diablo at the same time. Uh, here, I'm fighting, but there's these specters that are uh, phys immune. So I just walk back and reset the engagement so I can get Bale only, which I ended up doing. And again, it goes down pretty fast. Um, 
his mana burn is annoying a little bit, but that's why we have uh, mana potions. And we get him down pretty quick. Last one's Diablo. I, I know where he is. He's in the middle. Again, he'll spawn some Pit Lords and other guys. Um, so I'm just trying to get the life tap on him and start punching away. Um, you see his kind of beam started breaking my weapon. Hopefully it lasts. And here I'm starting to get a bunch of ghosts and Pit Lords between me and him. So I'm again kind of resetting the, the fight going away so I don't have so many people around me. He ends up following, cast life tap again, and get back to it. These ghosts will mana burn me, that's a bit annoying. I'm really stuck in the middle of the pack, but he's going down just as my, my weapon is really, really breaking now. But I've got it, I got it. So now, time to pick up the torch. Just trying to get these guys away. If I remember correctly, my inventory is full, so I will have to make some space. Alright, now we've got this. I probably could have put, you know, uh, Vigor to run faster instead of just walking around, but hey. We'll get back in here get uh, identifying scroll from Mara and see what we got for our efforts. Alright, so 1220 Amazon Torch. Not the best, not ideal, but hey, could have been a lot worse. We'll go over the gear really quickly. Again, very budget. We'll start with the Runeward Black, uh, Dracul's Grasp, a Dwarf Star, Duress in a Dust Crowd, and Um G Face. High Lords and Up at Us with an Um on it, Gore Riders, Raven Frost, and Thunder God, as well as the Dwarf Star. On the swap side, I have a Life Tap Wand and Ancient's Pledge on a Pally Shield with Resistances. On the stat side, I have enough strength to get all my gear and then enough Dex to get Max Block, then everything else in Vitality. And lastly, in the stash, I have the Treachery that I use to get Fade. So that's it really for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.